what's going on everybody and welcome to the channel today we are checking out the lh x28 wf it is by lead honor and it is also called the elves aerial vehicle it is a 1080p wi-fi fpv remote tilt adjustable camera gps quadcopter ready to fly so let's open up the box and check it out all right here we are we got everything out of the box and here is a take a look at the clock up there it is looking pretty nice foldable uh very close to what resembles the dji spark once again foldable however and here's the power on and off switch here's the 1080p wi-fi fpv camera looking pretty nice tilt adjustable from your remote control and in the back we have the battery bay and let's take a look at the battery a proprietary battery uh supposed to be a 7.4 volt 850 milliamp size battery i am unable to confirm that because uh the battery is inside but we'll take their word for it it's supposed to give you a flight time of 8 to 12 minutes so pretty good amount of flight time and you just slide it in and click it into place and since we have the on and off switch we can just power up the quadcopter in that way and we are also provided with the usb to two cell balance charge connector so you just plug this in and power source the usb and i believe the light turns on while you're charging and the light turns off when you are done charging so that took about good one hour or so so i'm gonna put the battery back in here and on the bottom of the quadcopter we got uh, four rubber landing pods in the middle of the body so the landing pods or the landing legs are not at the end of the motor pod it is at the middle so vulnerability to flipping over when you land but it should land pretty nicely uh, there's a micro sd card slot in which i put a micro sd card in there i'm not sure if it records because i haven't tested it out but hopefully we do record through the micro sd card that way we are recording in the 1080p i believe the wi-fi phone app will record in the 720p if i'm not mistaken with most of these wi-fi fpv 1080p type cameras and all you do is just fold the arms out and fold it back in it doesn't have a push button to lock or unlock you just flip it out and i kind of like that design because when you do crash it kind of bends over and it doesn't break anything so that is good if there was a locking mechanism sometimes when you land right on the arm you break the locking mechanism so this kind of prevents it from that happening and it kind of protects the whole quark up itself uh the propellers are not foldable so it's a solid piece of propeller so that is a take a look at the quark up there and i do believe we have some nice led lights on the front right here in the front and i do believe there's some led lights on the top we'll check it out there however is led lights on each of the motor pod that tells you the functions of the quark up itself so we'll come back to that in a little bit and here's the remote control and it is looking like a sema style remote control here we got the power on and off switch this button over here is the speed control you got i believe three speeds so we got a gps quark up with three speeds this here is the one key to return this is the one key to take off and one key to land here we have the uh, return to home and it is a gps return to home button so this will come back and land itself to where it took off from and we have a forward angle tilt adjustable button for the tilt adjustable camera and backwards so this will probably go back and this will go down i believe uh, this button here is a dedicated gyro calibration button so you don't have to do the both sticks to the bottom and to the left or right you just hit this button and it will auto calibrate here we have the compass calibration button so you press this button and you do that circling around and horizontal and vertical compass calibration here we have the headless mode on the right uh, the button on the top is said to be the photo button button on the bottom said to be the video button i'm not sure if that worked we also can take a photo and we also can take a video using the wi-fi phone app so that is one thing good and here is the instruction booklet and here we have the diagram of the remote control and all of the functions and here we can download the wi-fi phone app and let's see what it is called here it is called the wi-fi 720 gps okay so you can download that is a free downloadable 
app? No, I'm mistaken. It is called the LH GPS app in the App Store. So you can download that app and check it out. And here we have all of the control functions of that app. So that's the instruction booklet. And here we have the phone clip and spring loaded. You just push it right in here. And it is kind of tilt adjustable for your phone. I'm not going to be using this. I'm going to be using my iPad. So I'm going to put my iPad on a table and check out the Wi-Fi. And here's the charge cable that we already went over. And here's a bag of goodies. We got uh, prop guards and looks like it's just a clip-on type prop guards. And if you are a beginner, do use the prop guards so you can uh, save the props from getting damaged and in turn save the motors from getting damaged as well and looks like we only got two extra set of props uh two props that is so half a set of props and we are also given a screwdriver as well all right so let's go for a little demo flight with the lhx 28 by lead honor and this model is also called the elves all right so let's go and check it out all right, so here we go with the test flight. Let's go ahead and power up the quadcopter. And there we go. Lights are blinking. Turn on the remote control and the lights go slower. It blinked really fast and now it's blinking a little bit slower. So let's compass calibrate here. Holding down the compass calibrate button. And the lights have flashed faster once again. And at this time, what you want to do is rotate the quadcopter horizontally three times, 360 degrees, twice, three times, and lift it up and rotate it vertically three times and wait until the lights go solid. And the lights already went solid. So we got green LEDs in the front, solid now, red LEDs in the rear, solid and we got some green led lights looking like eyes in the front and that is just about all of the led lights so we are good to go compass has been calibrated let's go ahead and calibrate the gyro so hitting this gyro calibrate button and the lights go blinking again and they have turned solid once again so we are good to go I'm going to go ahead and grab my iPad so I can do some recording videos and taking photos all right, here we are with the iPad. So let's go into the settings of the iPad and connect to the Wi-Fi network of this quadcopter. And it is called the Wi-Fi 1080p. And it is being connected from a previous connection. So wait until the check appears and we are good to go. Here's the app, GPS. It's called LH GPS app. It's a free downloadable app and it looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and hit go fly and that should take us into the interface where we have the Wi-Fi FPV. So let's just see. Oh yeah, we got Wi-Fi FPV. I'm going to go ahead and screen record this session and we are screen recording. All right, so we are good to go. Uh, looking pretty good. The video quality is looking pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and take some photos. So let's take some photos here. Point it in that direction. And there's a car passing by. And the camera is horizontal, meaning it is looking at the horizon. So that is nice. You can also tilt it down using the remote control. It's got a tilt adjustable camera up in the front so here you go we've taken some photos Now let's go ahead and take some video. I'm gonna hit that video icon and it is counting down. There you go, it is counting down now. I tried taking photos and videos using the hard remote. Yeah, I didn't get any photos or video. So we're gonna completely use the phone app on the iPad. So let's leave the iPad on the table here. 
All right, it is recording. So let's go and check out this quadcopter here. So bolt sticks to the bottom and in will arm the motors. And you do that again, it will disarm the motors. Bolt sticks to the bottom and out will also arm the motors and also disarm the motors. All right, so let's go ahead and see if this one key to take off and land works without arming the motors first. Nope, so let's go ahead and arm the motors first and then hit this one key to take off. There you go, one key to take off works. And looks like we got GPS position hold. It is looking pretty nice and stable right there. And there's no breeze here today. Finally, we get a day without any wind. So this is the time to test out these lighter toy grade quadcopters. Let's go ahead and pull it and let go. And there you go, it goes back to the position hold spot. Very nice, all right. Let me just get a feel for this quadcopter here. This is my first time flying it out in the field. I did hover. Okay, that is speed number one, I do believe. It's got a pretty nice radius for speed number one. Let me just see. Yep, here's speed number two. Well, this thing flies really nice. Nice and smooth. I don't feel any interference at all with the phone app. So that's a good thing there. All right. Okay, it's only got two speeds, speeds one and two. So let's go ahead and bring it in right above the landing pad and hit this one key to land. And I can still redirect its path. There you go. And the motors shut off. All right, so let's place it right in the middle of the landing pad there. And that'll be our new home point because we're going to take off from this spot so let's go ahead and arm the motors nice one key to take off there you go pretty nice all right let's go ahead and test out the return to home now we are only given one of these proprietary batteries so let's go ahead and check out the main functions first all right so it's in a hover gps lock position hold and let's go ahead and hit this return to home now I've also found out this is not the return to home. This one is. This one is marked as one key to return. This one is marked as GPS return to home, but they are switched. So this is the GPS return to home. So let's hit this button and check it out. It is rising up in altitude and we are hearing some beeping going on on the remote control. And it is still rising up in altitude at a preset height and it is coming back and looks like it's coming back right above the landing pad so let's check it out there you go coming down it is wobbling on its way down here pretty much eating its own propeller draft there you go slowing down a little bit and looks like it's going to land pretty close to the middle of the landing pad wow check it out that is pretty nice all right so return to home works let me hit that button again to get out of the return to home now let's go and check out uh let's see fail safe return to home let's push it out right about here and let's see its behavior if i turn off the remote control okay the remote controls turned off Let's see if there is a fail-safe return to home. Yes, there is. It's going up in altitude. So it has fail-safe return to home. And it is doing the same thing. It is going up to a pre-designated altitude. There you go. It's still going up. And it is heading back. And I am hyper-extending my neck. And it is starting to come down. A little wobbly a little less wobbly this time coming down pretty fast and kind of slowing down right at the last minute and check it out it's going to land pretty close to the center of the 
landing pad once again. That is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the remote. Okay, we are rebound, hopefully. So let's see if we can take off once again. There we go. Nice. You are able to regain connection once you turn it back on, I do believe. So let's test that out. Okay, so turning off the remote. Okay, it's rising up in altitude and it's making its way back. I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button and we have regained connection and check it out I have regained control of it it stopped its return to home process it even stopped going up in altitude to the designated height as well so that is really nice once you lose connection with it it's going to start coming back and once you regain connection you are able to regain control of this quadcopter that is just awesome all right, so that is nice. Now let's leave it right there and see if we can do some FPV. Okay, it is recording, but looks like I am frozen in time with the phone app, guys. So I'm going to hit the record button, stop recording, and let me go ahead and kill the app. Okay, settings. I am still connected. Let me hit that GPS app once again. Hit go fly. Come on. Nope, I'm not getting any video. Okay, let me go ahead and go to the Wi Fi. I'm going to turn off my Wi Fi. Turn it back on. Okay, so there is a problem of a disconnect with this thing. So, I just saw it. Wi-Fi 1080p. Let me go ahead and reconnect. Unable to join network, it says. Ah, oh, man. This thing has a little problem with the connectability here. Wi-Fi 1080p. Come on, come on. Oh, man. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring it back in. because I wanted to check out all of the camera functions as well before it goes into the low voltage. All right, so we are back down and landed. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and all that. All right, so let me go ahead and turn off my screen record. Okay, screen record has been turned off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the clock copter. Okay, just hold it for a few seconds and the clock up there is turned off. Now let's go ahead and restart everything. Turning it back on. Okay, I see the lights flashing. Okay, turning on the remote. And the lights are blinking again. Now I don't think I need to do compass calibration again. But let me go ahead and do that anyways. Just to be safe. Alright, so the lights are blinking rapidly one more time. Okay once twice three times lift it up and i think you're supposed to go clockwise let me go clockwise here there you go the lights are solid putting it back down gyro calibration yeah, I know it is a pain in the butt, but with these GPS quadcopters, you should always do that compass calibration every time you take off. All right, let me go to the phone app once again, Wi-Fi and 1080p. We are connected this time. Hit that app. Go fly. Come on. Yes, we got video. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit that screen record once again just in case the video does not come out for some reason and let me hit that video record button all right so let's go and take off all right here we go there you go we are out and about and let me go ahead and yaw 
Okay, I think I yawed a little bit too much there. And there you go, there I am. And let me go and come towards myself. So not that bad. It's a little wobbly, but it looks like the video quality is pretty good. Let me go up in altitude here a little bit. Okay, and push it forward. For some reason, it is not going forward. It is kind of coming back a little bit. Oh, and it is heading its way back. And it is starting to come down. Nope, it stopped in its path of coming back down. I think we are in the first phase of return to home or low voltage return to home, sorry. So what happens is we have a geofence. So let me check out the geofence. Let me push it out. There you go. Hit the geofence and it is returning back a little bit and coming down and it will hold its position right there. Right? So you can still fly about. All right. So there you go. There's the first phase of low voltage return to home. Let me point it my way. I'm going to hit. Okay. Let me check out the tilt angle of the camera. Doesn't really work, does it? It goes down a little bit. There you go. It went down a little bit. There I am. And there you go. It went all the way down. Let me go back up. Takes a while. There you go. It went up a little bit. And it went up a little bit. And that is it. That is the tilt angle of this FPV camera. And we are pretty high up. And check it out. It is returning home. So now we have hit the second phase of return to home in which it came above the takeoff spot which is the home point and it is coming down all right so everything is working fine on this quadcopter except it is wobbling like crazy and it is coming down really fast and it caught itself and it has re-landed itself check it out uh, I have taken off this time around on the table not on from the landing pad so it missed the home point by a little bit and which I'm kind of uh, glad it did because it didn't land on the land on the table itself and stuff so there you go guys everything worked on this quadcopter the return to home the fail safe return to home and there is a first phase of low voltage return to home as well as the second phase of low voltage return to home where in the first phase it will hit some kind of a geo fencing and it'll come back to a, a distance and it will just hover there and in the second phase of the low voltage return to home it will make its way back to the home point the designated takeoff spot all right so very nice little quadcopter a uh, little toy grade gps quadcopter by lead honor and it is called the x 28WH. WF or WH? Anyway, it is a pretty decent quadcopter. All of the GPS functions worked pretty good. All right, so let me see if I can take off again. Nope, the battery is completely dry. Let me check out the phone app. And it is showing me 9% of battery life. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. And I'm going to go ahead and stop the on-screen recording all right guys there you have it the lead honors x28 thank you so much for tuning in and watching have a great day and we'll see you again next time there's the car there. and the lights are blinking too